Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the only guide you need for Marvel drivers. If you guys want to fix your FPS drops, input lag, latency and a lot more, watch this video till the end so you guys can fix all of your problems. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you are here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background which is not optimal for gaming. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode helps you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, helping you to improve your FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games, as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and render latency. Go back to graphics and over here, you have to click on the browse button and go to the download location of your game. Once you find your game, click on that. Head over to Marvel Game, Marvel Binaries Win64, and you'll find in Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe. This is the game file. Add over here and then head over to options select high performance so it will use your gpu to render this game click on save and close it next step is the best config settings and for that you have to go to the same download location of your game once you're in the folder head over to marvel binaries win64 and you'll find in marvel win64 shipping.exe right click on that and then head over to properties click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization also click on change high dpi settings and click on override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok click on apply and this will help you to reduce your input latency now before we move ahead a really effective way to improve your pc's performance is having free space on your local disk c and installing your games and your operating system in an ssd as they are generally faster and more responsive i collaborated with 4d dig partition master a really handy and portable portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system and here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will auto detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS to be migrated to and simply click on start. And in a few moments your PC will boot up faster. You can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better. You can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it Marvel just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Marvel Rivals FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can go and check it out over here you'll find in six simple folders which are really crucial if you guys want to juice out all of your system's performance over here you'll find cpu priority in which you'll find amd and intel cpu priority once again if you have an amd cpu like me you can double click and run the amd cpu priority this will help you to optimize your cpu's performance similarly you can do for intel cpu if you have that second folder is for your ram where i have left a ton of ram presets according to your PC. This will help you to set up the correct dword value for your RAM to use the correct amount of resources. And I have 32 GB RAM, you can double click according to your PC. And if it does not give out optimal performance, you guys can always reset it back from here. Third is rivals priority. And this is the most important part over here. It will help you to significantly boost your PC's performance and your game's FPS. Here I have left three registries and I would like you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below so i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here fourth is pc optimization where i have left three command prompts these are the batch files that will help you to fix your input latency improve your ram and cpu's performance and help you to reduce 
lags and stutter. All of them will help you to perform a few commands that you do not have to type it in and it will help you to improve your PC's performance. Fifth one is a power plan settings which is really important. Setting up the current power plan will help you to distribute power equally and gain extra performance out of your hardware and for that simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you have done that click on power plan options and it will open up your control panel. Over here you will find preferred plans and hide additional plans. You just have to look for ultimate performance that should be added in here. You have to select that and make sure that you are using that. This will save all power saving features and help you to juice out any kind of performance out of your hardware. Last and not the least is the programs where I have left some useful programs that you guys can utilize to improve the performance of your processor and your RAM. Namely, clean temporary files over here that will help you to clean all cache files of your PC, you have to run this as administrator. And this will politely ask you to press any key to continue. And as you do that, it will start deleting all temporary files. And do not worry, it is completely safe to do so. These are the files that are created by applications running in the background and they are no longer in use. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. We are using this to set up the interrupt priority for our graphic card. Once again, right click and run this as administrator. And in this list, you'll find all of your hardware connected to your PC. You have to look for your graphic card, click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interrupt priority, go and set it to high. This will help you to manage interrupts on your graphic card easily and this will help you to optimize your game performance as well. Last is Unpark CPU and this is a very useful application. Simply double click to open it up. And once you are here, you're gonna have to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and click on apply. This will basically disable core parking on your PC. It is a concept which is used in Windows, wherein if your processor is not completely in use, it will park the cores to save power. And, and when you are playing the games, majority chances are some of the cores are parked which may be causing FPS issues and micro stutters. Disabling core parking will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Once that is done, close it and close this folder. Next step is the best config settings for this game. And for that, press Windows and R key together and search for app data. This will take you to this folder where you have to go for local and then click M on your keyboard and find Marvel over here. Click on that, head over to saved, go over to config, windows, and you'll find game user settings.ini. Simply double click to open it up. Once you are here, you'll find something called scalability groups where you have to set your view distance quality to one or two. I prefer to go with three because I like to see larger view distance but if you have a small or low-end computer you guys can go with one shadow quality post process quality effect quality foliage quality reflection quality and global illumination quality all of them should be set to zero anti-aliasing super sampling mode you guys do not have to change it in here because we are going to change it in the game super sampling quality should be set to two and scroll down here you'll find nvidia reflex you have to make sure that this is set to true and xe low latency latency, DLSS frame generation, FSR frame generation, XE frame generation, all of them should be set to false. Use VSync should also be set to false and use dynamic resolution should be set to true. This will help you to reduce all kind of input latency that you might get from the game settings. Also, one more thing over here that will help you to improve your FPS is audio quality level. You will find it in your settings right over here. You're gonna have to set this thing to zero and utilize the lowest level of quality. It doesn't really impact your SFX a much, but help you to improve your FPS drastically. Once that is done, press Ctrl and S on your keyboard to save this and close it. Now, next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues, and network related issues using no ping that you can download for free from the link in the description below. Once you're in this application, you guys can find 1000 games plus that you guys can choose from over here. I'll simply look up for Marvel Rivals and it is right over here. Click on select the server and you guys can see a list of servers that are closest to you. Find the one which has the lowest ping and then click on optimize this game. It will help you to one click optimize your game and it acts as a VPN that can tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, avoiding any kind of packet loss, ping issues, latency. No ping also offers a dedicated turbo games feature where you guys can improve your keyboard response time and a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable all of these options, you guys can improve your fps by 8 ton so i would recommend you guys to use no ping and you can find a link to it down in the description below okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to the settings button over here 
Once you are here, go down to display and then make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen, aspect ratio and native resolution. For anti-aliasing and super resolution type, I would recommend you guys to go with NVIDIA DLSS or AMD FSR if you have an AMD or NVIDIA GPU. However, TAAU will also give you better performance. Super resolution mode should be set to quality and super resolution sharpening should be set to 80. Frame generation mode, turn this thing off and low latency should be set to NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Limit FPS should be turned off, Show FPS should be turned on, Network Stats can also be turned on, VSync should be turned off and then over here you guys have to set the graphics quality to custom. Global illumination should be set to SSGI high quality. Reflection quality should be screen space reflection. Model detail medium, post processing low, shadow detail low. Texture detail, you can go with medium or high and foliage quality and effect detail should be set to low. After that, press on enter, click on confirm, restart your game once and now you guys can enjoy best FPS possible in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel. We are also very close to 205,000 subscribers and I definitely believe in you guys we can do it also shout out to the channel members who have been supporting the channel i really appreciate your support and if you guys want your picture join the channel membership now we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out